The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. The first championship of four set to be decided here tonight at No Mercy and the WWE Cruiserweight Championship of the World is on the line. And here comes the number one contender, Alpha Academy's Master Chad Gable. One of my most interesting facts I could state about this match is that the champion and challenger are two men who have really not only rise the ranks of superstardom on SmackDown, but have become almost fan favorites over the last few months for no other reason but their in-ring abilities and the effort that they give from bell to bell. Gable and Santos Escobar, two men you can always call on to tear down that house. And tonight they go one-on-one, -on -one, the championship's on the line. Respect is there, but it goes out the window when the gold is at stake and only one man can leave the CFG Bank Arena as the Cruiserweight Champion. Chad Gable looks locked and loaded as he has earned this matchup tonight and doesn't want to see it go to waste. But here comes the Cruiserweight Champion of the world himself, the leader of Legado del Fantasma, the Emperor of Lucha Libre, Santos Escobar. A man who is in the midst of his third reign as the Cruiserweight Champion. Held it once before in NXT, had a reign last year, 2022, and has been riding the wave this year ever since May 14th at Vengeance where he defeated Rey Mysterio. Santos Escobar going to go back to his popularity really rising in the WWE Universe. Well, a lot of that came in his multiple month battle with the master, the master of the 619 in Rey Mysterio, a feud that concluded back in June at King of the Ring in Philadelphia in that extreme Lucha Rules match. Escobar has since retained the gold over JD McDonough, has been sitting back and watching the Cruiserweight Classic. Of course, the winner of that tournament will earn a title matchup in the near future. But tonight, Escobar turns all of his attention to the number one contender at ringside in Chad Gable. These two veterans, these two experienced talents, these two fan favorites set to lock horns for the Cruiserweight Championship of the World. Let's send things down to the ring for your official pre-match introduction. Introducing the challenger from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 202 pounds, Chad Gable! And his opponent from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 200 pounds, he is the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Santos Escobar! As we mentioned, it's the first championship match of four here tonight. The SmackDown exclusive live premiere event still to come. The Women's Championship of the World is on the line. The United States title and, of course, the World Heavyweight title in your main event. But that is the gold that is at stake as the champion hands over the title and the challenger takes a gaze at it. Cruiserweight Championship, a very prestigious championship going throughout the history of WWE and, of course, WCW. And we are in Baltimore, Maryland tonight a place that has a lot of WCW history in it, and I'm sure Chad Gable and Santos Escobar looking to do that history and lineage proud here tonight at No Mercy. As we kick off this matchup, we saw in the video package beforehand, Chad Gable earned this matchup with some recent victories over two-thirds of Legado del Fantasma. And wait a minute here, Santos Escobar. Oh, he's got his eyes locked on Gable early, going for the two pick and hero to the outside. My goodness! Tope Suicida, excuse me, I'm so excited I can't even get the move right. Nonetheless, the suicide dive will go with that by Santos Escobar to the outside. Gable goes down in the first 30 seconds of this matchup. If that doesn't tell you how motivated the champion is to come out, steal the show, and retain his title tonight, well, I don't know what will. As we were about to mention, Chad Gable earned this matchup by defeating Joaquin Wilde and Cruz del Toro. Going for the three-peat tonight, but of course that is not going to be an easy three-peat. Certainly easier said than done. And you're in there with Santos Escobar. Of course, Escobar defeating Chad Gable's tag team partner in Otis two weeks ago on SmackDown as well. Both these men coming out here alone tonight. No Legado del Fantasma, no Otis in the corners. 
going toe for toe to see who the better man is and who will be the Cruiserweight Champion. Gable back in the ring, and wait a minute, Escobar can't turn his back to the number one contender because he almost stole the victory there. Gable wants that Cruiserweight Championship and is willing to get it by any means necessary. Double underhook, full Nelson German. Great maneuver by Gable. Only getting the one count there, but those near falls will certainly get in the psyche of the Cruiserweight Champion. Chad Gable dropping Escobar with the DDT. Gable's got so many tricks to beat you. That is one of the reasons he was able to defeat two-thirds. Oh, look at, look at El Fantasma in recent weeks. He almost had Escobar again, only a one count, but as we mentioned, those near falls will certainly get in the head of the champion, possibly force him to be a little bit more desperate in the matchup and cause him to make a mistake. As Gable goes for another one off the belly to belly, only a two count that time, but two is better than one, and Gable's one step closer to becoming the Cruiserweight Champion. Chad Gable has challenged for this Cruiserweight Championship in the past, unfortunately unsuccessful. And Chad Gable, given his sentiments to Baltimore, Maryland, and his pursuit of the Cruiserweight goal this evening. Oh, Escobar, the nice shot to the rib cage. Escobar and Gable, both these men. Yeah, we said about Chad Gable, it, it can go both ways. They both have several ways to beat you. Escobar's got that phantom driver. He likes to drop his opponent's rib cage first on the top rope. We've seen a win with that before. Off the double knees in the corner. It's enough to take the knock the wind out of you, I should say. Possibly crack a rib cage. Chad Gable, former Olympian. Santos Escobar knows that, knows Gable can go the distance. Decorated tag team superstar throughout his WWE career, but a man who was looking for his first singles gold tonight in Baltimore. Escobar gets the two count, now drops the leg. Another maneuver that we have seen Santos execute to perfection, especially throughout this Cruiserweight Championship reign, as he comes from the top rope to the outside, and a beautiful missile drop kick to the shoulder of Chad Gable. Take out the shoulder, he may take out the arm and some of the strength of Gable, which will not allow him to perform a lot of those suplex variations that Gable likes to perfect, especially the chaos theory in the corner, which earned him the one, two, three over Joaquin Wilde and Cruz del Toro in recent weeks. Taking things back inside the squared circle, Escobar looking to get the one, two, three tonight and prove that he is the best of the best in the cruiserweight division. Gable is down and has not had an answer for Santos the last few minutes as the champion scales the ropes and waits the challenger to get to his feet and he hits a beautifully delivered crossbody and it once again goes for the cover and Gable gets the shoulder up. A lot of near falls in the early going of this matchup. Santos looking to take a leg it looked like there but Chad Gable's probably the last superstar on the SmackDown roster you want to do that with. As we mentioned, former Olympian that coming in wrestling. And Gable not afraid to take things to the ground if Santos Escobar wants to play those games. Luckily that misstep for Santos Escobar allowed Chad Gable to get back into this thing. A nice unique takeover that Chad Gable has used to perfection in the past, sending Escobar into the corner. Gable likes to perform that chaos theory in the corner, chooses not to go for it yet, instead a leapfrog to the champion. Here's Escobar. Off the counter, you can never take your eye off the champion. Tip for tat in this matchup. Oh, hey, hey, wait a minute. Escobar's got his foot on the ropes, and Gable getting the shoulder up. Well, we said these two men have really gained the respect of the WWE Universe in recent months, but that doesn't mean they're not afraid to use an underhanded tactic if need be. We've seen Legato del Fantasma use the numbers in the past. How we've seen Gable and Otis use the numbers in the past. Tonight it's all about the Cruiserweight Championship. Who wants it more and who is the better of the two? Gable might be a little fired up off that kick out. Saul Santos Escobar had on the foot of the ropes, not taking Kylie to what could be taken as disrespect. Escobar now on the outside. It's Chad Gable dropping the axe, or I should say tried to, as Escobar avoids it. And now on the outside, eats the knees of the Cruiserweight Champion. Santos Escobar in a snap of the fingers turns the momentum back to Legado del Fantasma territory. Escobar now going to take his time getting back inside the ring. And you know, Escobar could easily retain the title tonight via countout. I'm sure he wouldn't mind as long as he leaves the CFG Bank Arena tonight with the Cruiserweight Championship 
by his side. Chad Gable giving these sentiments to the Baltimore, Maryland crowd who, in my year, seems to be a little bit more behind Santos Escobar here tonight. Champions on the top rope, Chad Gable, however, on his tail. Nice shot to the jaw, and Chad Gable, one of the strongest superstars in the SmackDown locker room, shows us why with a superplex from the heavens. And now Gable into the cover, looking to become the new Cruiserweight champion at no mercy, but Escobar says not yet. As we have already discussed tonight, we have been in the midst of the Cruiserweight Classic. The winner of that tournament will earn a future shot at the Cruiserweight title. Could it be one of these men holding the title the time the tournament wraps? Gable wants to see his name on the plate of the championship. Off the triple verticals, into the cover. And he almost had him again. Another close call. And Chad Gable's starting to lose his marbles a little bit. Frustrated at the fact that Escobar continues to get the shoulder off the canvas. Gable's got to keep his head on straight. He's got to remember this is a man who pinned Rey Mysterio two falls to zip in the Extreme Lucha Rules match back in June. Escobar tough as nails, willing to go the distance by any means necessary, wants to retain the Cruiserweight title. Not able to score the pinfall off the triple suplexes, but now looking to beat down the champion. Crush the win, crush the soul, crush the dreams of the Emperor of Lucha Libre. Escobar rolling to the outside after those kicks right to the chest. Might have had the wind knocked out of him. I think this is honestly smart. Well, I was going to say smart for Gable to maybe stay inside the ring, allow Escobar to rest technically, but Gable would also get some rest. But Chad Gable going to keep his foot, his sole of the boot, on the gas pedal. And now do it off the apron with the Larry and Escobar counters and a nice head scissors takedown. Beautifully done by the Cruiserweight champion. But now Gable with a forearm. We can see this championship match turn into a brawl in no time. Escobar down once more, and Chad Gable back inside the squared circle. Escobar may have got a reversal on the outside, but not able to pay him dividends, as now Gable off the middle buckle, off of Brett's rope. But Escobar once more gets the shoulder off the canvas. And every time Escobar kicks out, you see Chad Gable losing it a little bit more each time. He better stay focused or Escobar is going to capitalize on that frustration, possibly cause Gable to make a mistake. And Santos Escobar may retain the championship off of it. Nice backdrop. Alex for the German, but he's still got the arms locked. The hands hooked. Turns it around. Suplex, what a combination maneuver there by the Cruiserweight Champion. Now Escobar, he's got Gable on the shoulders. Fireman's carry position. We want to talk about knocking the wind out of you. Throat first on the top rope could certainly do it. And Gable in the corner and again with the double knees. Escobar is looking to take out the wind of Gable and catch him long enough for the three count. Oh, wait a minute. Escobar's got Gable on his back, turns him over to the belly, and we may be in Baltimore, but Escobar's going for the Boston Crab tonight. A submission hold, which is a rare occurrence out of the arsenal of Escobar, may sense what Escobar's mental game is coming into this matchup, realizing he's got to pull out some deep tricks to try to defeat Gable. Only did him so well. Obviously, the matchup progresses, but he may have done some damage on the number one contender, who's trying to get rolling. But Escobar rolls to the outside, at least for the moment, to try to cut him off. We easily see this match start to go back and forth as we get into deep waters in the later rounds of this contest. Chad Gable taking Escobar down once again with that knee to the gut and into the bridge. Got one of the legs hooked, and only a one count that time. It certainly shows you the intestinal fortitude of these two superstars and their will to leave the CFG Bank Arena as the true cruiserweight champion of the world. Escobar is dazed, and you see Gable's fatigue starting to set in as well. Not as much enthusiasm, but Gable going for the kill. Chaos Theory! He's gonna do it! New champion, no! Escobar gets the shoulder off the canvas. The same maneuver that defeated Joaquin Wilde and Cruz del Toro is not enough to keep down the head honcho of Lucha Libre in Santos Escobar. And Gable would have just made a misstep going for the elbow off the top. 
And that just shows you how Santos Escobar has continued to be leaps and bounds above everyone in the cruiserweight division. The reason he holds the gold. But Chad Gable, not going to give up until he hears a bell. Looking for his rocky story. Tonight's set of mating in Maryland. Off the top again, Escobar might have kicked out of the chaos theory, but was it just off adrenaline? Does he truly have enough left in the tank to outlast Chad Gable? Runs through Gable's maneuver there. Once again, these two men just going from pillar to post. It's like two energy circuits crashing in the middle. And it took the world backbreaker that Eddie Guerrero would be proud of. Escobar's got to get back into this. That chaos theory might have changed the trajectory of this match. Certainly did some damage to the champion. He might have survived, but for how much longer? Gable knocked off the apron again, and the champion is on his tail at ringside. Santos Escobar, as we mentioned, could easily retain the championship via countout tonight, but Gable cannot win it out there. Gable's got to possibly try to use his surroundings to beat down Santos Escobar, take the life out from under him, but he's got to get the three count in between the ropes. The match has been thus far for the Cruiserweight title as Gable sends Santos back inside the squared circle. Now heads to the top again. Gable's had about 50-50 luck taking things to the air in this matchup, and once again, it does not work out for Gable as Santos Escobar met him there. Gable goes for a ride off the top, and now Escobar going for the Phantom Driver, and it hits near the center of the campus into the three count, and that's enough to retain the Cruiserweight Championship of the World. Chad Gable pushing Santos Escobar to his limits tonight, almost leaving as the champion. As you see in the replay, the triple suplexes, the chaos theory, some of the maneuvers that Gable has found success with in the past, but not tonight here in Baltimore. Phantom driver for the victory for the Emperor. Here's your winner, and still the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Santos. Well, Alpha Academy's Chad Gable will live to fight another day. But tonight, here at No Mercy, the reign of the Emperor of Lucha Libre rolls on. He has turned away some of the best in the Cruiserweight division. Now he awaits the winner of the CWC in a couple of weeks' time. But as for tonight at No Mercy, still your Cruiserweight Champion of the World, Santos Escobar! Coming your way on Saturday night, September 14th. Witness the aftermath of the biggest party of the summer, SummerSlam, as WWE and Noah Nation Gaming channel memberships proudly present No Mercy. No Mercy comes to you live from the Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Don't miss championship flashes, personal battles, high stakes, and high rewards all on the line on the 14th of September at WWE No Mercy!